Hello everyone, my name is Desenia Hasman and I'm a pharmacy technician here at Bridgeport Hospital. Today, I will be showing you on how to use our Pixis machine. Pixis machine is vital to our pharmacy personnel and our nurses here. It is how we give our medications to our patients. Pixis is a machine that helps us save time and money by keeping a record and inventory of our medications. Pixis also reports our usage it, it promotes patient safety and is very efficient. Pixis has different size QBs. It has one by ones, one by two, one by three, and full height QBs, which are two by one, two by two, two by fives, and two by threes. We also have matrix drawers and towers. Depending on the medication that you have is how you will load your medications. For example, you will load tablets in one by ones, one by threes, one by twos. If you have ciprofloxacin bags, you might want to load that in tower pockets or matrix drawers. This is our Pixis. Pixis has a scanner, has a screen, keyboards, and it has for our paper. To load our paper, we will put it in as such. Close it and it will automatically align it as such. In order to access Pixis, we will have our user ID and biometric ID. Once you are hired for Bridgeport Hospital, they will assign you a user ID which will be used across many systems. So we will touch our screen in order to begin. Type in our user ID and whichever finger you choose. This is our main menu. This is primarily what the technicians will be using. There is a sign and load, load and refill, unload, destock, and outdate. There is also a more menu option. On this, it gives us various menu and various options. For example, discrepancies is where our nurses will fix their discrepancies created when they mix up our counts. They must fix it by the end of their shift. If they do not fix it, they will lose their privileges to access Pixis for narcotics within 72 hours. Empty return bin. This is where our nurses will put their narcotic returns when the medication is not given to our patients. For example, they will put it in our return bin, which is only for narcotics. Non-narcotics must be tubed down to the pharmacy. Global find is the option if we don't have the medication inside this Pixis, we can actually look throughout the whole hospital and go to that nurse's station in order to, to get our medication without calling the pharmacy department. Inventory count is if you wanna make sure the pocket has the correct count. For example, let's inventory midazolam. We'll hit inventory count, type in the first couple letters, and pick a pocket. In this case, we have three pockets. Let's choose the first one. It gives you two tries to make sure that the count is correct. So in this case, we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We have thirteen midazolams. While we're in here, these are our different size cubies we have, which are half heights. These are examples of one by one QBs, and this is one by two. Depending on the medication, you can fit different ones. For example, that midazolam, we were able to fit 13. Here, you might be able to fit between 20 to 30 tablets, depending on the size of the medication and the type of packages. We have vials here, we were able to fit three, and vice versa on the different size QBs. So we'll hit back to our home button. In order to hit home, up here we have settings and home. These are our other menus. From here, our pharmacy staff personnel can load new medications. They have the options of loading it by half heights, full heights. We have our matrix drawers. Primarily, the technicians on their runs will use load and refill. They can separate the narcotics from the regular medications. For example, let's hit control meds. They have control meds, refill, load, load and refill. 
by hitting control meds, it separates it from the regular medications. This one here tells us that we must fit a fentanyl. We may also unload medications, outdate our medications, but while doing so, you must be very careful. Remember, with our narcotics, you must have an exact count. And when unloading, make sure you have your paper because you want to match what you have with your paper work. You may also destock. Destock, you're not actually unloading your medications. You are actually taking some out of the PIXIS to use in another area or return to the pharmacy department. Thank you for listening to my presentation today. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you and have a great day.